our farm um, is a Christmas tree farm. Uh, I came into the picture in 1992, and from uh, that direction, we also are gardening uh, for family. Around 2005, that um, Dr. Omo from A&T uh, came into the area, and they were starting to use some gold leaf tobacco money to uh, introduce shiitake mushrooms. So we kind of came in on the tail end of it, but we inoculated about 200 logs, and uh, uh, I sold some through the farmer's market, through local uh, neighborhood, through our church, and uh, um, then whenever the downturn on the economy came through, we kind of let that go and then started again uh, the last two years of inoculating logs again. You know, mushrooms are a, a delicious crop that, uh, that was fairly unusual, perhaps, you know, 20, 30 years ago, but have had several uh, adoptions or renaissances here in North Carolina. Of the different species that can be cultivated, shiitakes are one of the easiest because they can be grown on logs, and they are a delicious mushroom. They're, you know, wonderful on a grill, wonderful to fry. You can stuff them. Um, folks who enjoy regular button mushrooms from the grocery store uh, generally like shiitakes even more. There, over the past 15 years, there probably have been about four dozen people actively growing shiitake mushrooms commercially. In January or February, uh, we scout out um, white oak trees and we try to keep uh, manageable size. So limbs off of bigger trees or uh, I would say eight inch diameter is about as big as what we can handle, especially if we're moving them in and out of the creek. Uh, we cut them in about four foot logs. After uh, harvesting the logs, that in February and March, that we'll start inoculating. And inoculating is taking um, the mycelia that is in a sterile sawdust, and we drill holes every four inches down the log and then all the way around the log. And we have a plunger that uh, we gather the mycelia and then uh, just plunge it into the holes, pack it in there. After the holes are, are uh, full, we come back through with a food quality wax uh, that we get from our local cheese plant. And uh, then the logs have to sit for at least six months and sometimes up to a year before the mycelia begins to colonate. And then we'll start having mushrooms. But it will make a white cap at the end and those white caps then let you know that that mycelia is starting to deteriorate the log and that's why we use white oak because the length, uh, lifetime of the log is much longer with white oak. My mushrooms, we uh, I used to, would go to a uh, farmer's market, uh, but then it got to where I have enough neighbors and folks at our church that every time we fruit, the, they, they're on my list and I call folks who, who want mushrooms and deliver mushrooms. And we are now doing a CSA and those mushrooms will be included. Our plans are that we've inoculated 40 logs this year, probably 40 more next year. Lifespan is supposed to be around five years, but these logs right here are pushing probably eight and nine years old. So that, their production has really decreased this year. It's a lot like work, uh, and I think that's why some other folks uh, thought, ooh, this is gonna be cool, but you know, carrying these logs down to the creek and then dragging them out of the creek, and, but we love eating them, uh, and they're a delicious mushroom, so even when we weren't marketing them, we were still, our family was uh, just cooking and freezing and, and really enjoying them.